In this video, I'm going to show you what I would believe is the best gun tight defense in all of Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the 46 playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the dollar three two formation in this video. If you are watching this and you want to learn my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, and I guarantee you that you'll become a better Madden player if you join the Patreon. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. But we're going to talk today about defending gun tight in a little bit of a different way. I did kind of a, a poll on my channel, and people basically came back and gave me the feedback that gun tight is arguably the hardest offense to defend in Madden 23, and I think it's because it's the best offense against man-to-man. -man. Um, people struggle with this offense because it's really, really good against man-to-man. -man. So in this video, I wanted to give you a coverage that is really, really good um, at defending gun tight. We've talked a little bit about it before on the channel, but I don't think we've covered this in terms of how it can do against defending the gun tight meta. So what we're going to do is show it to you at a dollar. What I like to do with this specific defense is whenever you're in dollar in general, I do think that it's very helpful to turn your auto alignment onto base and then for zone coverage we're going to set this to match then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the dollar three two formation and if you take a look here at the bottom of the play call menu you're going to see the play the packages icon if i move my right joystick to the right or to the left it's going to change these packages we want to move this until it says safeties package in dollar and then from there you want to go back in and just resub in whoever you want, wherever you want them, okay? Resub in whoever you want, wherever you want them to play. Um, I really recommend putting, you know, maybe deep out zone knockout on your top. I think you should have deep out zone KO on all four of these guys, um, but you can actually get by, especially if it's good, if you're just playing a compression based offense i think you can just get by with having them on these two defenders here and then on these defenders you you want some kind of like pick artist um i think deep out zone knockout makes a lot of sense you could also say maybe flat zone knockout mid zone um these two slot cornerbacks they don't necessarily need coverage abilities. They mainly need pick artists. You could make an argument that you should have deep route knockout or mid zone, but the main thing is you have to have pick artists. Pick artists is so important this year. And then what you're going to be doing is you're actually going to be using this left side defender pretty much every single time. So this defender right here, you could put another knockout here. You could put deep in zone knockout or deep out zone knockout, um, You know, however you want to structure your defense. Uh, but the play that we're going to be coming out in for this and what I would recommend is to put DB Fire 2 um, or to just put this play in your audibles because you're going to probably want to come out in DB Fire 2. Um, but we're going to put Cover 2 uh, Sync. Cover 2 Sync I think is a really valuable play against Gun Tight. Um, you could also make an argument that Cover 3 Cloud is really good against Tight, which I actually think it is. Um, cover 3 Cloud is one of my favorite coverage shows as well. Uh, but just put some different coverages in here. Um, this to me is pretty solid. And then maybe just have a cover four, just kind of a worst case scenario. And then we're going to come out in the DB Fire 2. Now, this is going to give you our base foundational defense against tight, and then we're going to move into more of a max coverage. So all we're going to do, really simple, we are going to press that left slot. We're going to shade our coverage underneath, and then we're going to take these safeties, and we're going to, you see here that the adjustments have changed. Now what we can do is instead of having them in deep halves where they don't really cover corner routes, they don't really cover really anything, we're going to put them in outside third. So we're going to put the left side safety in an outside third to the left. We're going to put the right side safety in an outside third to the right. And then you can do a couple of things here. You can put this middle linebacker in a mid read. That will help if they're running like post routes or stuff like that. But really more often, you're probably going to put this guy in a deep third. So as you can see here, this is a five man uh, little pressure that I like to run against dollar. We have hard flats on on both sides taken away and then we have a in basically a um, kind of a Tampa 3 type of look if you will and uh, what you're going to notice is you're going to get pressure against this and the flats are going to be taken away so this is kind of your pressure variation now as we run through this what I like to do is then in key situations or whenever I want to we're going to go to cover to sink and again it's the same setup we're going to manually press this um, Press the slot. Now, if for whatever reason um, he won't go, then what you want to do is you want to press and then you want to back off your outside guys. So individually backing off the outside guys because you want these outside zones to be backed off. They play so much better if they're backed off. 
And then we're going to, again, outside third, both safeties, inside third, this inside safety. And then what I like to do is um, because you're not going to get good sheds if these players are on contains, we're just going to crash the defensive line towards the running back. We're going to blitz our users so that we can get better sheds because generally speaking, you want to have four people, quote unquote, rushing the passer. And then one of those guys can be your user in a blitz. And now you're in a, basically a max coverage defense from this. And if you notice here, let's say they try to flood your zones or try to flood your corner routes. This is going to do a really good job against the double corner routes because these vertical hooks have potential to match onto players because we turned our match on and because we are calling cover to sync. Um, so as you can see, they're really simple, really, really, really effective. Um, now, another thing that we can actually do with this within the dollar formation whenever we're playing whenever we're playing gun tight specifically is you can actually create what I call roll coverages because we can put both of these slot corners in outside thirds. So one of the other coverages that I like to run is we're going to outside third this cornerback on the, the running back side. We're going to inside third this cornerback uh, or the safety in the middle of the field and then we're going to outside third the safety so we're, this is now a four-man pressure but we get an additional zone in the middle of the field what i even even more so like to do with this is i love to put a hard flat from this defensive end or simply man this defensive end against the running back in case they're snap throwing so this is going to essentially roll everything to the right side if you watch this so let's say they have a, a snap throw plan uh, to try to hit their running back on a snap throw maybe do something like this then you're, you've got that taken away, and now you're coming over here, and your pressure is just absolutely screaming. So Dollar, I think, is the best defense for gun tight right now because of how good it is in zone. Dollar is, by and large, a zone-based coverage. Um, now I want to give you one more coverage out of Cover Through Cloud. I love this coverage. Uh, what we want to do is we want to flip the Cover Through Cloud because we want our Cover 3 to be to the wide side of the field, and we want our Cover 4 um, or I'm sorry, we want our cover three to be the wide side of the field, and then we want our other coverages um, to be the other way. So you see here, now we have an outside third to the wide side of the field. So if they try to flood us to the right side, that outside third is going to do a really good job of playing that. The short side flood is what we have to worry about, and we have that cloud flat there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop this. Um, we're going to we're going to drop you know something like. Maybe send, maybe send the pressure off the right side. Or you can honestly just sit in this defense. This defense is going to be fine for you. It's going to play super effectively. And really the only thing you're lurking in this, you have two yellows. You're just kind of lurking that hard flat. And as you can see, the pressure is going to get in because you're going to have really good sheds in this formation. So these are some different variations of coverages that you can call. Um, and then lastly, one of my favorite coverages is actually out of DB Fire. And we're going to do the same thing where we press and, and back off as needed. Um, sometimes the alignment can get wonky in Praxima, but generally speaking, you're just going to do this. And what I do is I call this outside inside. What do I mean by outside inside? It's a man coverage. We are going to play outside inside coverage. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to man the slot corners up to the inside receivers. That's our inside. And then we're going to man up our safeties to the outside receivers. That's going to be our outside. And then what I like to do is take this linebacker and man him up on the running back. And then from there to the wide side of the – if you have time, you can take this outside cornerback, put him in an outside third, or you can just leave him in a cloud. This is a very simple defense for tight, but it's really effective for these bench-type plays. These corner routes are not going to get – actually, they got great separation right there because Derwin James is terrible – but they're not going to get that great of se separation, especially if you leave these outside flat zones, you know, on say, you know, 5, 10, 20 yards, right? So if I were to, to run this again, we'll show you here, um, you know, you can you can then turn, uh, turn this into um, outside or cloud flats, right? So you could do something like this. Now, this is going to play a little bit better. You'll see this cloud flat's not going to get burned so bad. And then you've also got the inside-outside approach. So now they throw into that. And if you have deep out zone knockout on that defender, you probably got a chance at picking that off. So these are some ways and just kind of a little mini scheme for defending one of the best formations in the game. I love this inside-outside approach like something like that right there. I think that is such a good adjustment. And you could just man lock one side, right? So you could do something like this and then we can then we can kind of play 
Maybe if we wanted to do something like this on the right side, you know, you could do something like this and it, it just kind of gives you a little bit of versatility defensively because now I know I'm going to guarantee my pressure off that right side. We're going to man lock that side. So really the only thing that I'm looking for is if they were to run a crossing route to um, from the tight end. So in this example here, I see, oh, the tight end goes, so I got to take him, but everything else is pretty well bagged up. All right. So these are some of my favorite coverages and just kind of principles uh, for shutting down the gun tight meta. I think I do think in, if you take Madden 23 into consideration, gun tight is probably the most effective offense this year, uh, just in terms of what it can do to counter the man meta. It doesn't mean it's the best offense. I do think that Trips tight end is really good. I think Bunch is really good. I think U Trips is really good, right? But but gun tight does attack the man meta, and so there there are things and steps that you can take to make it make your defense play better against it. If you enjoyed the video and you want to get better at Madden, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member. It's going to get you access to everything we have over there, including all of my Madden twenty three offensive and defensive eBooks. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description and join the Patreon at the link down below.